Hi guys! As you can tell by the title, I am doing my 20 week scan update. I was so excited to go for our scan, me and Lee were like waiting all day because it was a late appointment. Lee's dad came with us, he came into the scan room. So anyway, I will just go straight into what happened at the scan. So we had like the, the scan tech person, I don't know what they're called. There is a proper name but I don't know what it is. They were checking baby, he obviously checked like he asked if we knew the gender and I said yes we knew the gender so he didn't even check for the gender which I thought was a bit funny but never mind so he was checking for like baby he was checking the heart making sure everything was working good there he checked the brain and then he was checking like the spine and everything like that everything that they get checked and everything came back perfectly fine with baby he was very active on the scan you could see his little legs kicking he looks like he's got a lot of like leg like all leg I say Ethan was exact same, he was all leg. He filled out, you know, the cot things they're going in the hospital. He filled out that. I have a picture of when he was like a day or two old. I will insert here. So as you can see, Ethan was very tall. Baby, he wasn't, he was 7'11", but I think most of that was because of how tall he was. And he's still really tall now. He's like the size of a four or five year old at the age of three. So anyway, I think this baby is also going to be very tall leg wise but we will see so we did get measurements of and everything like that and he was kind of measuring around 20 weeks which was perfect they do a thing where they like can measure the baby like how heavy he's going to be and stuff and it says that he has 12 ounces at 20 weeks i'm not sure if that's big or small or average but it, he never said he was concerned that it was too big or too small so i'm guessing it's around average so that was really good to know but at my appointment the, the woman had got on her phone there was because obviously there was the person doing the, the scan it was he he was doing the scan and then there was a, a like a nurse writing everything down that he was telling her and she'd picked up off like she'd rung someone in the middle of the appointment so i'm sitting there heart rate going thinking oh god what have they found why are they getting someone in like a doctor or consultant or something to come and check me out what's wrong turns out she was ringing from my appointment about another patient it didn't even concern me but yet she'd done it in the middle of my appointment so there's me thinking that they need a second opinion on my scan on my results at the time they were checking i think his heart so I really panicked and I'm like that was she should not have done that I like I could have a right to complain I'm sorry my hair's just a mess I've just chucked it up so I was just like that it was it was not right and then doing the scan he said the person that was doing the scan also said have you got growth scans and I was like yeah why like oh we're just asking I was like that doesn't seem like a question you would ask unless you feel there's a need that I should be having them but again that was another thing that made me really panic for nothing because baby is fine they did find a problem with the placenta. Another problem, yes, in this pregnancy I have another problem. They said my placenta is, I will read in my notes exactly what it says. It says, posterior low region. He basically said my placenta was, like my cervix opening was here and my placenta was like here. So I think the region means it was reaching the cervix but not covering it. So he said, not to worry because as everything grows that should move up so i guess i will wait for my other scans to see if that moves up if not it might be a c-section which we are kind of swaying towards anyway for other reasons like i said i will make that in a different video close to the time in like a birth plan video but i was a little upset as you do you panic thinking oh goodness what can that cause so i'm gonna just let my hair down because that's bump still my head in i'm just thinking oh no what can like what problems can that cause and how serious is this? What's the chances of it moving? But then I read it's a very high chance of it moving up. So we will see about that. So there's another problem added on, but it's not a big one. I'm not worried anymore. I was at first, but I think I just panicked myself. Also, they have like little charts here where they put like a little X where he is measuring. And he is measuring around the same spot on his head. He's like tummy. And his weight are all bang on in the middle. Well, around the same spot. I think they're just under the middle line. Yet his female, which is his leg, is measuring on the line. So that's a little bit bigger than the other three. Which I thought would be normal because we have 
babies with long legs. <laughs> Eve, like I said, Eve had long legs. Now this one, when he stretched out on the scan, he looked like he was more leg than anything else. So anyway, I will leave it here because it's getting long. So I will be back for my bump date week 21 on Wednesday, I think. And I will try and get some other updates for you as well. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.